Well, I find this absolutely appalling, Tucker. And, you know, the whole reason why I ran for Congress in the first place is because I'm one of the Americans that are sick and tired of our government allowing the abuse of the American people. Oh, you're against the abuse of the American people, are you? So you're opposed to police brutality, people being forced onto the streets, families being ripped apart, and people being denied basic human rights based on their race, gender, wealth, sexual orientation, and immigration status. That's, uh, that's not what she's talking about. But when it comes to gender affirming care, which is really child abuse, this is actually an assault and it's child abuse. Oh, for the love of all things covered in Canadian goose boo. Do we really have to go over this again? I'm introducing a bill called Protect Children's Innocence Act, and it would create a law that would cause it to be a class C felony for any person involved in so-called gender affirming care. Well, I guess so. This is Rebel HQ. I'm Sandy Loves. Okay, here's a quick rundown for people who've only heard right-wing fear-mongering about gender-affirming care. Surgeries are not performed on children under the age of 18. For one, they're not adults, and two, their bodies haven't fully grown. This isn't an 80s movie where a kid wishes really hard and wakes up the next day a different gender. It takes years and a decision made between the parents, caregivers, doctors, and the child. Puberty blockers are safe, reversible, and delays the child's development until a decision is made. Hormones are only administered to teenagers. Both puberty blockers and hormones are only provided to children who've socially transitioned years before treatment. To receive treatment, a child must be persistent, consistent, and insistent. It has been unequivocally proven. Gender-affirming care saves lives. Children who need and receive gender-affirming care become more emotionally stable and confident. It reduces thoughts of self-harm to levels below their cisgendered peers. Only around 1% of people who've transitioned regret it, and most of the reasons are due to lack of social acceptance or lack of funds to continue. Compare it to these common surgeries. And plastic surgery is even higher with a 65% regret rate. This practice should never happen. It's so disgusting and appalling, and it's an embarrassment to our country. You know, from the perspective of a smug-ass Canadian, I can say there's lots of reasons why America should be embarrassed on the global stage. I mean lots, just like so many reasons. It's like really bad. There's so much to choose from. Countless countless reasons why America should be embarrassed. Electing people like Marjorie Taylor Greene into office is one of them. Providing gender-affirming care? Not one of the reasons. Speaking of Marjorie Taylor Greene, MTJ, or moronic tiresome gargoyle, she introduced a bill to prevent surgeries that aren't happening. She graphically describes procedures being performed on children using language designed to elicit horrific images and trigger moral panic. She's also flat-out lying. The bill would also prohibit institutions of higher education from providing instruction on gender-affirming care and bar doctors that have provided gender-affirming care to a minor from receiving visas or being admitted to the U.S. Gee, I wonder if Marjorie wants the U.S. to be a fascist state. That was a rhetorical question and the answer is yes. Yes, she does. You see, I'm one of those that believes the Republican Party is only worth um, worth being a, a, a true party, worth deserving of the people's votes if we are willing to stand up and stop horrific things like child abuse and like so-called gender-affirming care. You want to know what child abuse is? Among other things, child marriages, don't say gay bills, taking children away from supportive families, denying children the medical care they need, all things Republicans support. Denying a transgender child gender-affirming care is child abuse. Forcing them to use change rooms, washrooms, playing sports based on the gender they were assigned at birth is child abuse. Anything involving any, any youth under the age of 18, because these kids are too young to make these awful decisions that will affect them and will be permanent for the rest of their lives. It's um, already been stated, but it's worth repeating. Transitioning is not done on a whim. A child does not say, today I feel like a different gender, goes to a doctor and instantly receives all the hormones and surgeries needed to make it happen. It takes years and is done under the supervision of professionals. It's a private medical decision from a family and a child. No child is being forced to transition and preventing transgender children from transitioning is a decision that will affect them the rest of their lives. It's the, it's the kind of things nightmares are made of, and these are yeah. monsters under kids' beds that are doing these horrific things to them. Oh, you mean monsters, like moronic, tiresome gargoyles. And we're not even a party worth deserving of the American people's vote. Stop right there. 
Agreed. For more of my stuff, look for me on social media's left of the box. Don't forget to hit buttons and leave comments. Thanks for watching, and until next time, get informed, get involved.